remember how I asked about Congress spending $17 million to settle sexual harassment claims that we're not allowed to know anything about, even though it's paid for with our tax dollars? A lot of people were pretty uncomfortable with me when I brought that up. I thought it was pretty appropriate, considering Donald Trump was just convicted over 34 times over using his own money to settle a score because it was deemed election interference. Well, now there's at least some, some hope in Congress because Congressman Tom Massey is asking the exact same question. Actually, he's asking a whole lot more questions, too. You know, Congress has paid over $17 million in hush money for sexual misconduct inside of the offices in these buildings. Uh, and what's more is that was taxpayer money, right? The allegation is that President Trump paid $130,000 of his own money. But here in Congress, we have, there may be some on this dais. I mean, I'm for turning loose all of these records. Who in here has had the taxpayer pay for their sexual misconduct charges the hush money? I bet there's some over there. There may be some over here. I don't know, but I do know it's taxpayer money, and I do know not a single penny of it has been turned in as a campaign finance expense. Things that make you say, hmm. I, like, I was called crazy in the aftermath of Trump's New York trial, and then again like 96 hours ago for bringing up that exact point. The Twitter sphere went berserk, calling me a conspiracy theorist. I, now, look, folks, normally I have to wait like six months or more before I'm proven right on most of my theories, but this was super fast, actually record-breaking debunking, probably because I'm not the one they have to worry about anymore. Is the FEC going to investigate the $17 million that the Congress has paid to settle, uh, you know, behind closed doors these... these uh, sexual misconduct allegations? Uh, Congressman, if, if a complaint were to come to us about it, I'm sure it would be thoroughly investigated. I might file one. By the way, that gentleman from the FEC is going to be joining us in just a second because I have a ho whole lot more questions from where that came from, too. I'm sure you at home also have a ton of questions. The point here is that there's a whole lot of people that are doing exactly what Donald Trump did with personal funds, but they're doing it with campaign funds and even taxpayer funds. None of them, none of them have ever been held accountable or even so much as charged with a crime. So, Joe Biden, I pose this to you as you tweeted. Is anyone above the law? Because it seems right now that Congress is, and a member of their own body is questioning it. Not only that, he's questioning a lot more. If um, somebody pays their attorney to, to seal divorce records because they may be going to run for office or they are, are running for office, Mr. Trainer, is that a, a campaign finance expense? Is that something you see on campaign finance reports? That is not. 1999, Bill and Hillary Clinton bought a house in New York, obviously influenced the election of the Senate race there in New York because they moved into the house so that she could run for Senate. Is that a campaign finance expense? If I could pay my wife $10,000, she's got more dirt on me than anybody else, and then report that as a campaign finance expense, and he's very fastidious. He manages the finances of at least a dozen different campaigns. And he looked at me like I was crazy. And this is just in the five minutes that Massey was allotted during this hearing. My question would be, was the Steele dossier a campaign finance violation? because it was definitely used in an attempt to alter the course of the election in 2016. And the whole thing was completely fabricated. They dragged that thing out for two years after Trump was already in office. And guess what? That was launched using campaign funds.